Hi, this is Richard from Animate.com. In this second video on Blender's Shade and Node Editor, we will have a look at the texture coordinates of the world background. We will change the spherical sky dome coordinates in order to map us a cloud layer. So we will have to produce flat coordinates out of the spherical ones. Of course, we're using the math nodes to do so. So let's jump right into it. To see the world background nodes, we have to switch our shader editor to world. Similar to the modes of an object, we find a menu in the header menu for object and world shading. Press Shift A to open the add menu and go to input texture coordinate. The world background is thought to be infinitely far away, which would make the object coordinates unusable, as they would be infinite but they get rewritten to have values between minus 1 and 1, which makes them identical to the normal output at that same point. Let's add a noise texture to resemble clouds with that mapping. This establishes the foundation for mapping textures onto the world background. All we need to do is to flatten the clouds to a layer. We do so by separating the set component of the spherical object coordinates. We go to Shift A, Convert, Separate XY Set, and connect the object coordinates of the separate node. The set value is 0 at the horizon and 1 at the north pole of the background. That's very useful for our case, as we just have to divide the object coordinates by this set value. If we now add a vector math node by convert vector math and set it to divide, we can just connect the set output to the second input slot and the original vector into the first vector math input slot. So we just have to divide the object coordinates by its set value and voila, the noisy clouds look like a flat layer of clouds. In opposite to spherical HDRI images, we can animate the cloud texture by changing the X or Y coordinate right before it's plugged into the texture. Notice that it makes a big difference if we offset the coordinates after the division or before the division. We could say that the offset is smaller at the horizon if we add it after the division, and that's what we want. In opposite, if we want to rotate the horizon to any arbitrary alignment, then we want to use a mapping node before we divide the coordinates. In general, we can think of our node setup from right to left. We want to map a texture, we want it to move relative to its visible scaling, it shall shrink down at the horizon, but the horizon plane is rotated globally. Experiment with the settings of the noise texture node. You can adjust the scale to control the size of the clouds and the distortion to introduce strong winds that distort the clouds. For more control over the appearance, connect a color ramp node to the factor output of our texture. This allows you to control the color and intensity of the clouds. Add a color mix RGB node and mix the output with a sky texture that's found in texture sky texture. And we have one cloud layer moving in front of a sky. Repeat that to get more layers stacked on top of each other. The higher the layer sits, the slower its cloud should move. So rather than setting the noise scale, we shrink the texture coordinates to affect both the scale and speed of the clouds at once. We do so by multiplying the vector coordinates. We can combine the layers using a mix RGB node again. Just be sure that the lower bigger clouds cover the higher, smaller ones. We can use the bigger clouds ramp output for that. By carefully manipulating texture coordinates, 
and experimenting with different nodes, you can create captivating flat cloud layers in the world background of your Blender scene. In the we next video, that. we'll learn to distort textures. Here we could use that to adjust the look of the clouds and generate some thick cumulus clouds. So I hope you learned something about the world background and its texture coordinates. In the next video, we will have a look at distances between objects and angles between directions and how to calculate them and use them in shading. Happy blending! Bye!